Okay, in this installment, uh, we're gonna be exploring a contingency uh, for the tracker sled. Uh, in the case that a tracker sled uh, is exposed to extremely high winds or in a situation where you're making a connection to a land-based inverter where we can't tolerate any movement whatsoever, it might be necessary to actually uh, guide a, a tracker sled in, in place. So what we're going to explore uh, today is using these uh, earth anchors to provide uh, guys to a, to a central pipe. We're actually going to use that central pipe actually to tow the tracker sled back and forth from its current position. Uh, but for now, I'd just like to explain the way we're driving these in. Uh, this is simply, I'm in the process right now of driving this in uh, uh, with a, sort of a plumbing wrench, right? A lightweight plumbing wrench. You'll notice that each of these heads, now these are specifically for guys, each of these heads has a hex head. And I'll, I'll drive this in so far that I can, you know, that's convenient and faster and quieter uh, with this wrench. At some point, I'm gonna switch to my impact uh, wrench uh, powered impact wrench. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. We'll visit uh, uh, another anchor that I've driven. We're actually going to remove that anchor and replace it here. It's a huge advantage of these anchors is they're reusable. Okay, so uh, I'm now at the location where I've already uh, buried a 42 inch earth anchor. Uh, again, these are reusable. So I'm going to start taking this out with a with a power impact drill. I'll take it out a little bit till, a point, till it gets to a point where I can uh, remove it with a wrench. And then we're gonna relocate it to the other side of the tracker sled. So now I'm going to uh, bury uh, this guy anchor uh, the sockets that I'm using are, are six-sided, and this allows better contact uh, and more efficient driving. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the impact, and we'll finish this, uh, finish this off. Okay, so I've driven that in almost all the way, but left enough of it uh, above ground so I can site the location of my center post. Um, after we get this going, we'll then put in the other guy, we'll cable it up, and we'll be ready uh, to pull the tracker sled. Okay, so the other thing I just want to show you is something I attempted to do that was not advisable, and that is put a tremendous amount of bending on uh, on one of these anchors. These anchors are meant for either a vertical load down or to resist uh, a load uh, coming axially out, like a tensile load. So what I did th uh, with this is actually put on this pipe and attempt to uh, pull the sled. Um, and because this is made out of cast aluminum, which is brittle, uh, it, it broke underground. And that's my bad. Uh, I was pushing this to a point where it wasn't designed for. So now we have a situation where we have uh, two anchors in tension, one in compression, and uh, we should be all right. Okay, so now uh, we're at the point where I've uh, buried both guides. Um, we're about to finish this off, and I made this in the basement. So we've got a two inch pipe here with um, an eye nut that's gonna face the tracker sled. And this uh, I bolt, uh, which will take uh, slings of cable here uh, from both guys. So the idea is that um, this will go over the post after I uh, bury it. Uh, we'll next work on getting this guide so that we can pull the, the tracker sled in this direction. Okay, so now we're back. Uh, We've made uh, custom slings here, cable slings. We uh, swaged our own connections here because these had to be a custom length. These are copper 
uh, hourglass swages on the galvanized. Um, we have our, our eye bolt, as we mentioned before, with our eye nut. And then we have a single shackle here uh, connected to those. So the one thing you got to remember when you're doing uh, this sort of rigging is that even though we might have an 800 pound force uh, this way, uh, these uh, cables will see more force uh, because they're part of the hypotenuse of this uh, force triangle, if you will, where this is the right angle, that's the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. So, so the thing uh, when you do rigging like this, you got to be careful because uh, force will be magnified on these diagonal guys. Okay, that's it for this uh, session. We'll catch you next time.